Today, Secretary of State Blinken announced designations against four individuals associated with the Georgian judiciary. The State Department determined, based on credible and corroborated evidence, that these individuals abused their public positions by engaging in significant corrupt activity. Their actions undercut judicial and public processes by offering benefits to or coercing judges to decide cases in favor of political allies and manipulating judicial appointments to their benefit. Their corruption undermined rule of law and democratic processes, damaging the Georgian public's faith in the independence of one of the most important democratic institutions. Under United States law, credible evidence of significant corruption such as this results in designations. These designations prevent these individuals and their immediate family members from traveling to the United States. At last week's Summit for Democracy, President Biden reaffirmed the United States' strong commitment to fighting corruption and strengthening rule of law. Over 100 countries, including Georgia, joined President Biden in endorsing this commitment because we all understand that rule of law is about more than words. It's about justice, and justice is the main principle upholding freedom and democracy. Rule of law requires a legal system where cases are decided fairly and impartially based on facts, evidence, and law. Not because of a late night phone call, not because of a bribe, not because of intimidation or other pressure. Every Georgian citizen deserves justice, rule of law, and the right to a fair and independent judicial process, regardless of his or her wealth or family or political connections. These designations today reflect the importance the United States places on countering corruption. Corruption and judicial interference obstruct Georgia's European integration. The United States continues to support Georgia and its citizens in your European aspirations. This action was taken with achieving that goal in mind. These designations also demonstrate our continued support to the hardworking, capable, honest, and professional judges throughout Georgia, many of whom I've had the pleasure of meeting. They should be allowed to do their jobs and administer the law free of pressure, intimidation, and interference. For years, the United States has been urging the government to make meaningful reforms within the judiciary. And we applaud the progress made over the years, often with U.S. support. But as many have acknowledged, including the government, there is more work to be done to ensure that Georgian citizens have the strong judicial institution that you deserve. These judicial reforms are in Georgia's interest, and they are necessary for Georgia to achieve the Euro-Atlantic future Georgians have long pursued. To win the fight against corruption, to achieve the stable, prosperous, and Euro-Atlantic future the people of Georgia have chosen, Georgia needs a truly impartial, independent judiciary. The designations announced today against four corrupt individuals demonstrate the United States' firm commitment to combat corruption and to help the people of Georgia succeed in building the democratic society you so clearly want and deserve. Madlaba.